the stream while I get everything resized to its proper. Yeah, yeah, begin. Loud! Very loud. I keep forgetting that it starts off loud when I boot it up. Alright, that's better. And resizing done. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That should be good. Looks good. Do we have my voice coming through? We do indeed. So hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Solorak, dragging back with more Fate Grand Order. Where today? I was going to say, is there a butt pit cutscene or something? But yeah, we're just going to be doing some rank up quests today. But before that, we do have a quest to resume. A very challenging quest to resume. That's right, it's the Grail Live Challenge quest that I still have to do. Um, I decided to save this for today, if that wasn't painfully obvious, just because I figured it would be better to do this now on stream than in the recording I made yesterday, where I did it all off stream. But uh, yeah, so I've got Double Castoria Gil going in here. This node is mainly sabers. Um, all with break bars. I think there's one extra. And there is a Spotlight Servant that gets an increased damage dealt and a decrease in damage taken. But that's why we got Gil here. Gil. Gil will be our salute. For lack of better terms. Because with Gil, we just press delete. Essentially, at least. Yeah, with Gil, we just press delete. But that is the butler idol, Long King, Prince Idol Arthur, the newlywed idol Sigurd. He will sing for his people, Charm Gil, too soon for the climax, attack with special resistance. I love are you watching with the guts and attack down. For everyone for 20k heal. I'll answer your cheers for sure hit. Ow. And the spotlight is now on Arthur. And of course, of course, Gil is stunned. He's charmed. Oh, as is that Castoria as well. I didn't even realize. Um, but this is fine. I mean, it's not really, but it will be. Um, let's give Gil an instability for a turn, and then we'll stay like this. Um, yeah, I can't even select the NP. That's a shame. I could have totally wiped out this way, probably, with that turn. Crit rate boost for Proto. Yeah, as long as Gil stays alive, we will be fine. Alright, and we have an excellent turn for Gil. So let's go ahead and Anima Elish once more. Um Yeah, we'll just straight up go blast him. I do have the attack down, which it could be a bit of a problem. Could. Okay, why did Proto not take really any damage? That special resist must be for NP. That's gonna be a no. Ignore defense and evasion. That won't matter too much for Guild, thankfully. Because Guild does have the 1 ZE on. The Idol Maker, that's who else is here. Merlin. Merlin is here. Okay, um, guts and an evasion, so we need protection first. So let us go with Castoria Gil. Gil. See if I can cleanse this attack down. I kind of doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to try. Yep. We at least got an attack up to counteract it a little, a little bit. 
But this should be sicker than nothing else. Oh, that's 50k guts. And it was still enough. Awesome. And here comes Proto, thankfully. We have our Castoria shield. Protect. Anti enforcement defense is power. I was really hoping they would. Oh, I forgot about Izo, the Manslayer idols also in this. I was really, really kind of hoping that they would take out this Castoria, to be completely honest here. But you know what? This is fine. We'll just we'll keep. Like so. This will break Merlin. Maybe Izo. And the Buster should hopefully deal a decent amount of damage to Arthur. Oh, he nearly broke Izo as well. Yeah, Proto's got a defense like nobody business. Charge each turn and he being down. And of course, they still don't target who I want them to target. Cog. Alright. Um. Throw that on skills. He's got a turn of invents. And then. Uh, doot doot doot. Stars gathered for next turn. Genius idol. I didn't even see what he even got there. It like zoomed out of him way too fast. But that is what I wanted to see, because now that we have Waver in, we can. Garen oh, we got perfect charge here, actually, I think. We got lucky. Perfect charge there. Holy cow, that is like fate at work in its finest. And let's drop the invincibility as well, just because better safe than sorry. Um. Guild Blast. We got incredibly lucky with the char how the charges played out there. And that's Game Set Match. Oh, the special defense must have only been a limited amount. I didn't check that. I know it's still there, I don't know why I thought it was gone. My eyes are just playing tricks on me. But, that was the challenge quest scene. We get three of the Twinkling Stars, and two Saber, one Caster, and one Assassin Monument. Woo! And with that, that is the official close to the Grail Live event, and I perfectly completed it. Before that, though, it does look like the Grail Front for Super Camelot, the pre-release, has started. Um, it's going to have commemorative weekly login bonuses, providing us some nice CEs. I like the Papa Lancelot daughter Mashu one, very much so there. Lion King and Aggravain, very interesting. I like that look for the Lion King, looks very nice. Um, it is all just Mystic Code experience boosts. Betty and Ag Betty and Tristan is cool. Arash and Ozzy is hilarious. But yeah, I like that. I like that look for the Lion King. Um, and eligible servants get double boosted experience and such, as well as friend points. And three rank up quests have been added. Ozzy's charisma has been turned into Divine King of the Burning Sands, a further strengthening to the increase of attack. 
and applies a state where crit stars are gained for each turn for yourself, increase crit strength for all allies, only when on sunlight field. Sun Zong's captivating rosy cheeks has increased, has ranked up to have an increase to attack for three turns, and Bedivere's tactics has turned into night tactics for NP strength strengthened and an MP gain for three turns for all allies. All in all, not bad. Excuse me. And this is literally the exact same thing. Why there's two... Oh, no, wait, the other one's the summoning one. I clicked on the not summoning one. Yeah, Ozzy and Sanzang, both of which I do already have, so not really going to be too concerned about rolling. Hey, Curlix, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things? How be things? Yeah, I... Oh, we get the Mashu one, so I'll be sure I'm claiming that here, but yeah. Just to showcase that I was not lying, I did completely clear the event. <sighs> it was tough though, I burned quite a few apples doing so, but I did it I did it in the end. But let us claim the login stuff here. Um Ice. It looks like will be what it is. One points, tickets, foe. And that looks to be all with that, so we claim hand in hand. I'm gonna do a double CD, Mashu being led by Lancelot. The moment the curtain drops, we leap out of our story to walk along the long path to lead us to a great banquet. It's only natural to take each other's hands to show off our sophistication for the occasion, just as it is inevitable for a faint smile to flit across one's face. Aresh is indeed one of the best girls. Indeed she is, indeed she is. Um, if you want to see another one of the best girls, you need to be able to do the main interlude for the Abyss Seraph Paradise. That one will introduce another one of the best girls to you, Corlix. Trust me, you will see another best girl. But as for when, I don't honestly know when Aresh is next going to have a raid. Oh, no, 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 not BB. Not BB. No, the other girl that is introduced, or rather. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to look up Aresh Kako real quick. See when her next dedicated banner is... Cause I have her NP1. Um, is it the? Have we done the 19 million download? I don't know if we've done the 19 million. Okay, I think the 19 million download might have just passed us. I honestly can't recall, so it might not be until the lucky bag campaign. Yeah, you might be. It might be a little bit. Indeed, indeed. Meltrilus, Meltil, Meltlilith. Hmm. I honestly, it's hard to tell sometimes with where we are compared to the JP side of things. But let me claim the master missions real quick here. Uh, all I have to do is defeat thirty enemies with an attribute, and then that's done. Nice. But let me see who this rando is. I don't accept randos. I only accept people that ask. But, uh, yeah. So, today is gonna be just me doing some rank up quests. Although, let me see really quickly. Who is the next one in the level up order document? What is the next servant currently in line to be leveled up? Brobeard. Okay, you know what? I think I have enough resources to rank Brobeard all the way up here. Yeah. First, just make sure everybody is 6'6 six, six at the moment, because I'm paranoid that I might have missed somebody. Nope, Achan's there. I don't think I've gotten anybody else new. All the other servants are too. Oh, he, he becomes a bro. He evolves into more of a bro character. Trust me. He evolves into pure bro territory. It's through a lot of the extra events, mind you. Um, especially the summer event. Summer three? 
Summer 3, was it? Yeah, Summer 3 is where he really became bro beard. You know, but ever since then, they have been, they have made more of an effort to not have him lean into that side, essentially, is what it comes down to. Uh, but let me claim here. Do I have, I have golden foes I need to use as well? So let's use those first. Yeah, that that wasn't his best appearance. Admittedly, that was not his best appearance, Okeanos. But he gets better. He definitely gets better. I didn't. I couldn't tolerate him either. I actually burned him for a time, but he became a bro, and you know, it became worth keeping him around. And now he's. Brobeard to me. Just like Mandricarbro. Alright, so, so let me claim my oldest foes here. And filter out oh, next levels. So he's gonna be down by the riders, right? He hasn't already gotten foed. No. Riders, I'm blind. There he be. He's my last low rarity rider as well, or at least my last not three star rider, because I have. Oh wow, I, I've really leveled up. All I didn't realize almost all my riders were leveled up. Holy cow! I, that's a bit of a shock to me. I didn't realize I only had three not leveled up riders, but soon it's gonna be only two okay um, you know I'm I'm not gonna argue with that I'm perfectly content it'll be very useful for when a tower event comes along and then I do need to also be unlocking all of the costumes that I can unlock as well Alright, so yeah, let's use our Silver Embers, but you didn't, but how have things been? You've cleared out Babylonia, which, how did you find Babylonia as far as the story? I mean, outside of learning that Arash is one of the best girls, what do you think of the rest of the story of the Babylonia Singularity? Alright, Brobeard, assume your second form. Indeed, Babylonia is definitely a high point. Um, wait, wait until the next singularity, though. Um, Solomon is going to also prove things. My God, the Blackbeard fellow is. See, I'm not gonna repeat that. Blackbeard, you're still full of yourself, even if you are a bro. We unlock the interlude, a man's battle, and the skill Pirate's Glory. Three turn attack increase, a one turn guts, and a decrease debuff for you. Exist demerit for yourself. Okay. I ah, are doing some prep work for Solomon. Fair, you know. Better to be prepared than to not be. I remember I was playing Solomon. I played Solomon the night it released. Like I stayed up and streamed the very start of the Solomon Singularity Live because that was originally a raid event. I was, however, not aware exactly how long of a raid event it was going to be, so I didn't... I woke up at... I was up at, like, 3 a.m. to stream it. I streamed for, like, two hours before crashing because I had school in the morning. <laughs> or was it work? I honestly can't remember. It might have been... It was probably work. <laughs> Hang on. Oh! I'm taking up contacts. But, um, raid events, they don't happen that often, but what essentially, I think the next one we get might be the Elmoloy Case Files rerun or the Apocrypha rerun, but the raid events are essentially, there is a, um, I'm not sure on that. Main story events I don't really know much on, but essentially the raid events are a single or multiple boss that you can repeatedly kill multiple times, and it's a global tracker so that after the boss has been killed by everybody so many times, that boss is no longer available. 
but the bosses oftentimes have an insane amount of drops. So, if there's multiple bosses, more likely than not, one boss will have like all of the really good drops, and it will be dead within a couple of hours of the game of it being launched. In fact, I think that is how fast one of the bosses perished in the actual Solomon. Um, Solomon raid statistics. So the Solomon Singularity back in 2018. Okay, so... The first one to die was Barbados, and he died precisely... Um... It looks like... Oh no, actually, Barbados lasted about a day. But it was it was over 50 kills per second that Barbados suffered. We people were killing Barbados so fast that they inc I'm pretty sure they increased the kill count for him. But the raid did last all the way up till like the end of the event. But, yeah, when the raids are really good, then the bosses don't last long. But Barbados, and honestly, bullying Barbados has become a meme in the greater FGO community at this point, since he does come back for a round two in that El Malloy Case Files event. The Barbados raid resumes. Ah, uh, it's fun. The raids can be quite fun, but I'm pretty sure we get a... If Tunguska does have a raid mechanic, I'm pretty sure there's one sooner than that. I almost feel like we're getting the Elmaloy Case Files rerun. Hey, Brobeard's proper ascension attire. Hey, <laughs> But let's see here. Grail Life, Servant Summer Camp. He still he needs the Buster T-shirt though. Yeah, look at him. He's a nerd. Bro Beard is just a nerd. It's all it is. And that's why he is Bro Beard. For we are all nerds deep down. Oh wow, I'm uh, I'm already out, out of embers. Um, let's see, what is my lowest count? I've got 50 counts. So I have all the chocolates. I really need a uh, increased success on the CEs here. Okay, I think the 50 counts the lowest it looks like. Let's take a 50 count. And let's finish leveling Brobeard all the way to the top. And then we'll skip him up. Um, geez, I might have been wrong about there being... Oh wait, hang on, I see something Apocrypha related. Is that going to be... No, I guess I was wrong. There is not going to be a raid before this Tunguska at the end of the year. I could have swore there would be. Could have swore there would be. Hmm. Yeah. We can't. Oh, and of it's in. Of course, the the El Malloy case files is in January, so we get back to back raids then. Back to back raids. Um, for Tunguska, I don't know mainly because I'm trying to avoid. Like I know that I knew about the Tunguska event. I know it's however story related, so I don't know what is going. To end up being fought. And I kind of want that to remain a hush hush. But in January, the Barbados raid. So, the Barbados raid is an assassin. Barbados will be an assassin class raid there. 
um, half a million HP. And it can drop Reverse Scales, Hearts of the Foreign God, hum Homunculus Babies, Forbidden Pages, Infinity Gears, Ghost Lanterns, Un the Evil Bones, the Void Dust, all of the Assassin Gems, 1.4 million QP, half a million QP, or 200,000 QP. All at the low, low cost of 30 AP. Oh, gosh dang it, Brobeard. <sighs> Making me reach even deeper into my funds, man. There's being a bro and then there's being a glutton. Uh, let's see, just grab... Grab one of the fours, hopefully. Oh, for sure. All the the raids are a dream, really. But yeah, and there's people can. There are people that do setups for it, and in fact, the event servant you get for that event has extra damage bonus against Barbados as well. So. It's essentially her event, so you'll be able to take Barbados down if you level her up. Let's skill up Brobeard. Oh, I don't have the third skill? I guess it's a rank up quest exclusive thing, isn't it? Darn. Well, who knows? Brobeard might be the one who gets a rank up quest done today. I honestly haven't decided who's gonna be getting the rank ups done. We will find out here shortly, though, because I'm gonna be doing them shortly. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure about how the Tunguska will go, but I do know that more likely, I mean, that's still seven months away. So you'll have plenty of time to prep a squad for it. And I'm sure if you looked up, like, a JP guide for it, you could definitely find a good, low-quality setup. Heck, I I'm, imagine that the... I don't remember their name, but there is a, another FGO YouTuber who does three-star content. Like, they only go three-star servants or lower for the entire game. And if you... I'm sure they probably have a decent guide. Oh yeah, Lotta will definitely help. Okay, so I have 142 AP because I'm not going to use any apples today. So we are very limited as to how much I can spend. I could probably only get two rank of quests done in its entirety, to be completely honest here. So the question is, which two should I do? I think a chan because, you know, her event just happened, and I'm still in an Achan move, so that will put me 69, putting me down to, uh, let's see here, 82, 73 AP. Okay, so Achan is one of them I can do. Um, and we could do Oi as well. Yeah, you know, I think that those two will be the two I do, Achan and Oi. So let's go ahead and do Achan first here, because... She is adorable. I will take a Castoria. And then... Echan, 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 Echan. Echan. Where are you? I'm blind. There she is. Yeah, I mean, mats from skills will definitely come more easily in the lotto, um, as do the events. Like, event farming is a lot more efficient than not event farming. More often than not, the drop rates for stuff in events is a lot more efficient than out of them. Um, I'm not sure. The next event is a grail front, though, so you're not going to get any um, materials from that. But, I'm pretty sure we should get the summer, last year's summer rerun after. Let me just clarify that here. 
so we're in May. Yep, so it should be Grail Front, then the Servant Camp Summer Rerun should be following that. <laughs> And that should have easily farmable influence. Plus, that event is pretty fun. I quite enjoyed the service game. Then lost about six in time to roll? Um, po quite possibly. Quite possibly, although I do believe we're supposed to get another Nero Fest sometime this summer period as well. So I'm not sure if that will end up taking priority or not. But yeah, you know, Lost Belt 6 is soon. It's closing up fast. Yeah, I'm... Like I said, I'm trying to keep myself spoiler-free, so I know... Not really anybody that's going to be present in the banners to be rolled, and I kind of want to keep it that way, you know? I want to be surprised and decide after that if I want to roll for any of the servants, you know? Um, this one is a lot harder than I thought it would be, by the way. Just because Hey John is a berserker. <laughs> yeah. And it's hilarious is the fact that that was just the first time she took damage right then. Because these enemies have not been touching her. Can I go? I'm about to lose a Castoria here, so let's go ahead and exhaust the fuels. And then. Do... Yeah, poor Castoria. I do know that she's gonna have a part to play in Lost About Six, and I do look forward to seeing what exact. how her character develops, because. Honestly, right now, I know next to nothing about her grander character other than that. I think she is Merlin's apprentice or something? So that'll be interesting to see how that develops. That'll be very interesting to see develop. Will Castoria join the Waifu Legion? Or will she be relegated to more of a sister slash daughter role? That and more will be answered in Lost Belt 6. Alright, first note. And we'll go with Kyle here and keep going. Just keep pushing forwards. Just keep pushing forwards. I think they're a little weaker than last time. Maybe. I didn't. I think they were like 40,000 HP last time, so you know, 30s are a little bit better. Even if Castoria's. Tickling them more than anything. <laughs> That's what I get for not using a single Buster card. Low rolls. Finish it. Yes, hey John. Yes, do it. <laughs> And brave, brave chain. Uh, yeah. 
and I should please give me some grits. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. Oh, good. Lucky crit is lucky. Hachan's been taking a, a beating this time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say no to this fella here. We have enough charge to get another full MP. Uh, get more arts and factors. And I just used all the time. All the power, all the DACA. Unlimited DACA. Yes, single. Oh, Mega Ellie Chan. How high can I get? I think only a 400% 10p. Still, that's very respectable number. So, you know what? Let's do it. 400% smash! <laughs> Um, rare prisms are gotten from burning four-star servants and higher. So, yeah, I mean, they also, you get one for... At it's not the only way. If you do a rerun of an event... You will get the event servant as well as some associated rare prisms with them. Um, there will be some banners where you're going to get plenty of four stars. I, I don't think it's the case, but I'm pretty sure that Artoria Lily is on the friend point banner. I don't think that she offers four star embers when you burn her. Don't think so, but I'm going to check that real quick, just to be certain. Oh, Artoria Pen Dragon Lily. And of course, these guys are stronger than last. Um, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Brave Chain. Let's see for, sorry. Brave chain here for the Artoria. Probably the last years. I'm almost down to Castoria. No, it would have been. What is it? Was that 21? Huh? Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see. Um. One or both Castoria could go down here. So let's make it so that neither Castoria goes down here. Um, let's see. Yeah, that doesn't tell me much. 
Only look at rare prisms. You all, they also occasionally give rare prisms. Actually, now that I think of it, they do also occasionally give out rare prisms randomly for um, just like login campaigns and stuff. Um... Of course, there's no list of rare prisms, is there? Um... <laughs> Oh shit. Two enemies? Two enemies? That's not fair, game. That's totally not fair. Not cool, game. Like, totally not cool. Hmm. Moriarty needs to go first. オルトリアクト引退。我が暗黒の攻防で捕虜師に帰る。Attempt to delusion. Probably not gonna happen. Yeah. Nowhere near enough damage there for a deletion. I was about to say, although it's gonna do a damn good job of deleting me. Bye, Castoria. Some of them draconic, some of them, and welcome to the stream. How be things, how be things. But yeah, I'm just doing an a, a full AP bars worth of rank up, so two rank up quests since, you know, it's not half AP today. Relaxing is nice, relaxing is nice. Always nice to relax. I'm done with classes for the semester. It's not until fall that I need to worry about it again. At which point I might have clinicals. Oh boy, what kind of fanfic did Andy inspire you to want to write? The world wants to know. All right, NP rank up. Okay, so it is now a anti she's now anti good and even more anti saber anti good and anti saber that's my it john scooby doo fgo interesting what's the premise like what's the can you give me like a basic synopsis cuz now i'm a you've piqued my curiosity cuz that is a very odd duo, for lack of better terms. A very odd crossover. If this will work. An, alt an AU for the FGO timeline. Okay. やりましたね。うう。超怖いな。
the next wave and then just blast through the last wave. Very lucky crit there, so I don't think I would have taken it down and it wasn't. Nice. Alright, and triple arts boost in the wave 9. You know, I really do wish this last skill was a little bit more generals. Like, it doesn't even affect the NP. If it affected the NP, that would make it a little busted, maybe, but still it would be nice. It would be nice if that affected the NP as well. Respectable damage. Daemon. I like how it's Daemon rather than demon. Like, could they not get away with just calling it a demon or something? I'm honestly curious. Uh, so also. Oh. Okay. Huh. It is an idea. It's certainly an idea, is what I can say about it. Um. Mm, that's a good point there, Carlux. That is a good point. Very well is likely more in line with the Greek pronunciation of the word. Yeah, that is certainly an idea there, Draconic. Andy can make some very interesting ideas, can't he? I mean, Olga's gone. Or rather, she's a beast now, so I guess, I guess she could come back. Um, ran in the water. See, I could see that happening. I could see Keldeus becoming independent, you know. Although I still am of the opinion that Keldea will eventually become the throne of heroes. You know, I'm, I'm still holding on to that belief that Keldea will become the throne of heroes eventually. But, um, after the whole that bit, it, it kind of loses me there. Like... I'm not really sure. Outside of the Olga and Daphne being cousins, thing, I don't. Like, it's very tenuous connections to Scooby Doo. When you said FEO Scooby Doo crossover, I was thinking, like, the gang somehow ends up at Caldea before everything happens to investigate something that happens, and then the incineration occurs while the Scooby Gang is still in Caldea. So that they're part of all the singularity craziness and stuff. That's where I thought you were going, but still, it, it could be interesting. I mean, it depends on what iteration of the Scooby Gang you run with as well, because while the Scooby Gang has had a lot of iterations, they have developed over the years, um, and some of them are more favored and developed than others. Ah, well, I can't remember what it was. I think it was Mystery Incorporated. There was, like, a more serious Scooby-Doo animated series ten years or so ago, I think, that, like, 
really develop the Scooby Gang? I just can't remember what if it was if it was Mr. A Incorporated or not. But of course, you have to include the meme of Ultra Instinct Shaggy somewhere. Ultra Instinct Shaggy is too iconic not to, you know, include in some manner, even if it's just as a joke. Of course, I'm kidding, you don't have to include it. It'd just be interesting to include. Alright. Oi, finish off Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. Maybe, I should, maybe her third skill would have been useful here. Because I'm pretty sure I hit Amadeus with a couple of arts cards last time. Yeah, I mean... There's nothing wrong with shipping characters in any fandom, you know? Everybody has their own ships. I have my own ships, even in the FGO fandom, you know? I ship some characters. I even feel like I do some rare ships in my head. Have I vocalized those ships that I think might be rare? No, I don't I don't think Mo, Fran, it, Fran and Mordred is too rare of a pair. Is it? I honestly don't know if Fran and Mordred is a rare pair or not. Yeah, I mean, early stages of any fanfic, you know, you're gonna go through a lot of rewrites and revisions. Yeah, I'm, you know, Kyo and Liz, I I have to admit, I have to admit, Gouda Gouda, or not Gouda Gouda, but, um... Daily Light? No, what? I can't remember what it is now. The... It's been ages, actually, now that I think about it. It's my Reddit. Um... No, what's this? The weird one that, like, has all of the... It's like where Bunyan came from, that universe. I can't remember what it is called now. <laughs> Ah, it's like a really weird universe or whatever. That Gudako is essentially a beast in disguise. Gudo is a um obsessed with Shodas. I can't remember what it's called though. Either way, from that universe I have um gotten on the Kyo's pairing train. Because of that verse. Goey! And another demon. Well, Goey, I'm sorry to say, but I think you're going to go away. I can't remember what it's called. And that's gonna annoy me until I can remember. Sob. Sob. Tears. Sob. <sighs> Curse my poor memory. Curse it! But, something I do remember was that I was only going to be doing these two rank-ups today. Um... I was literally, not even a few minutes ago, talking about how this skill... I didn't remember this... I didn't remember this got ranked up! Huh. I, I legitimately did not remember that this skill got ranked up. And I was just bashing it. Did I subconsciously remember it and that's why I did this? I, I don't... Okay! 
It's now A rank, and um, in addition to decreasing enemies' defense when attacking with art cards, art card crit star gallery is increased as well as some flat crit stars. Woo! I... I honestly wasn't expecting that to be the rank up. I don't know. I thought it might have been the NP or something. But it was the skill I was complaining about, so yay! Um, but I do think, though... I'm out of AP that I'm going to spend because I already burned a fair few of my golden apples to um, finish off the Grail Live event. And I mean, just look at my apple count. My golden apple count is so, so low. It's going to make farming like I'm neat. I'm going to try. I'm going to try for the next lotto event to farm 100 boxes. I'm going to give it my all and try to do at least 100 boxes in the next lotto event. At least that many. But I don't know when that is. Christmas, perhaps? N maybe the Nero Fest that I know we're getting this year sometime? Either Nero Fest or Christmas, one or the other, should be the next lotto, should be the next lotto event. So, uh, yeah. When that time comes, I will totally put more effort into doing 100 boxes than the last few times I've been doing. Yeah. But I think I'm going to call the stream here because I've been Soul Ractric, and I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. Go to check out more by me. Be sure to check out my channel here on Twitch or YouTube. Same name, same games. There is plenty of content for you all to enjoy. Once again, thank you all so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed. It was nice chatting with you all. Have a fantastic evening, everybody.